Hey guys, AG Dolls No Longer here. Can't stop, won't stop. Here's another Facebook Marketplace haul because I have no self control. Um, yeah, I went and picked up another thing from Facebook Marketplace today. Uh, $50 for a lot of a doll, a pet, five clothing pieces, five shoes and accessories. Uh, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, first, I picked up this at my local Salvo's, which is a secondhand shop. Kind of like a goodwill. Um, it's a beanbag chair. You're supposed to put your book in here. Um, and I'm hoping to have a dollhouse in the near future. Uh, so I thought this would be a cute little addition for a doll bedroom, doll living room. I have the American Girl fold out chair that you saw in my last video. Um, super cute, super fun. And I'll actually use it for books as well. I love something that can do both. I'll show you the doll last. She's in rough shape. I'm going to fix her up either in this video attached to the end or a separate video. We'll see. Uh, I'll get started with the least exciting thing first. This is an in-store exclusive sweater from I believe 2015. I think it's when I was in Canada is when this came out. But I don't think they had any left at the New York store when I went there in 2015 on a very big holiday. So this is super cute. She had two of these and the skirt that came with, but I decided on some other pieces instead of the skirt because um, she was selling everything separate. Um, but I really liked the little sweater with the bow. It's going to be great for Christmas. I can't wait to put all the Christmas things on the dolls. E I'm waiting for December though. I'm going to be good and not do it in November because it's not Christmas yet. Uh, next up, I have a, another nostalgic piece from AG. Uh, for me, I find the 2010s AG things, the like aggressively 2010s items, you know, the like clashy prints, kind of not a cute vibe, but still adorable anyway. Um, so we have these little shoes. They're sandals, but Australians or flip flops, we call them thongs. Next up, we have a little bikini set. I believe these, those were the shoes that came with it. So it's this little floral bikini. It's going to be so cute for the beach. Can't wait to put it on one of my dolls. Cute little halter neck with a ruffle. I don't have any good doll bathers, so this is great. Very excited to have these. Next up, I found a full set, but it's like one of those pieces from the 2010s that is so aggressively 2011, and I love it. Uh, so it comes with these like high top converse style sneakers that are stripey, they have like little designs on the side, they're white laces, white bottoms, and they fold over on the top. Super fun, super cute. And you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe they went with this stripey dress. It's got like a double layer circle skirt, t-shirt material, like this is so 2010s. I would have wanted to wear this. I think this was an outfit that I had on Innistar U. Anyone else from the My American Girl days? I believe this. I had this on Innistar U for Raven, my first doll, who was the only doll I did Innistar U with. Uh, Innistar U was the like Webkins online game, kind of like Club Penguin, but for American Girl. Uh, and used to get a doll that came with the code. Um, and I only ever used my code for Raven and I loved the game, it was so much fun. Um, I think I bought this for Raven on the game. I could be completely wrong and it's a different outfit. But it's so fun, like, it's so not in, but I love it. <laughs> Maybe it is in, I'm so not up to date with fashion. Uh, next up, I found some pieces from Sage's collection there, so she had this all laid up of American Girl, Our Generation, and my twin, something twin, uh, outfits all like on the floor. And just like for $50, you can have doll, one doll, one, well, not necessarily one pet, she had two pets to choose from. And I wasn't leaving there without this specific pet that I got. Um, and she was like, yeah, you can choose five pieces of clothing and five accessories. Um, so I was so happy to see some sage items there. I could have used those five to get a full outfit, but I already have some jeggings and I don't really want American Girl jeggings if I've got some knockoff brand jeggings. I just wanted more American Girl pieces that I'll actually use. 
So they had this, which is Sage's parade hat, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. One of the westerny hats with a little toggle. Leather. The felt's a bit scuffy, but it's super cute. Little drawstring. So fun. So cute. Next up we have the shirt from Sage's Parade Outfit. And the boots from Sage's Parade Outfit. Once again, not super in anymore, but I love these little booties. I think I wanted them when they first came out. And then this super cute button up shirt with the Diamante Sinquini trim along the yoke, which is that front part of the shirt. And I think the print's really fun. Like, I don't really like the pink buttons, but it's cute. I love a button up shirt for my dolls. Sequins less of a vibe, but I really like the print. It's fun. I'll use it. And one of the clothing pieces I was most excited for Got a couple of threads I need to trim off, but it's Sage's sweater from Sage's sweater outfit. Um, I really loved this outfit as well. I could have had, I have the sandals from this outfit already. I could have had the tank top that goes underneath it, but I don't really like it. I just really wanted the sweater. So I was super happy to see this there. I'm gonna pair this with lots of things. It's fun. I'm gonna show you the pet that I got next and then the doll because most people are excited about the doll. I'm more excited about the pet to be honest. <laughs> I would have been happy if it was $50 for clothes and the pet, let alone the doll included. So this American Girl brand pet bed. This is my first American Girl branded pet. I have two Our Generation pets, the Corgi that's posable and the posable rag, don't know, really short head kitten from uh, Our Generation. He's like, uh, white with a bit of brown on his nose and paws. I'm a cat person rather than a dog person. I love both. My dog's there. Uh, you can see a cat tail behind me, but yes. I'm cat obsessed, dog obsessed. There's a cat right there. Um, love both. Very happy for this little puppy dog. Yes. And guys, it's the trans icon himself. I got coconut! Oh, sorry, I don't think he was coconut in this form. He's the coconut with the attachable uh, magnetic mouthpiece. He's got the little mouth, he's got a little face. He can rotate his head. Unlike the our generation ones, it doesn't make a move as he but oh, sorry, it doesn't make noise as he moves, so he just kind of moves. Which I think is great. The our generation one it's like balls that click into place. Whereas coconut that's like you little American girl style. His collar is super cute comes off super easy so he can be naked he's not that scuffy they also had might have been it looks like Kanani's dog but it wasn't Kanani's dog because it came with I think it might have been the Labrador I don't know I if I remember hey Rosie from the future put a picture over here Rosie from the future is not gonna put a picture there so give him his little, little toy he's so cute place your bets it is one a light skin classic bald doll. Two, blue eyed. And three, retired, but I can't remember when. Uh, it's truly me. Number 14, I think. That's the best guess that I have had. It's either the, uh, 14 or number seven, but I think it's truly my number 14. As you can see, her hair is cut. Just a shame because I love the wigs with the wispy bangs. I loved all wigs with bangs for American Girl, but usually the wispy ones. I don't mind high bang, but wispy bangs, super cute. Uh, it looks like this hair's been straightened at some point. It feels like hay. It's awful. She is grubby. This leg is really loose. This one's not too bad. I'm gonna tighten them. Um, her neck strings have been cut. Cut, but not dramatically. There's enough there to tie it, so I might not replace them. Um, she has makeup in her teeth and her face paint is kind of coming off. She has lion eyebrows as well. But there's potential. I'm gonna do something with her. Um, 
she was an added bonus, I was really just happy for coconut and the clothes. But, you know, $50 for American Girl doll and all that stuff. That's a win. That's Australian dollars too. US dollars would probably be like 35 if my conversion rate's correct. It's probably not, but about $35 for all that stuff. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go get this gal all cleaned up. Probably in another video. Video. I'll leave this haul here. It's nice and short. Not like the 20 minute video that I just uploaded. Sorry about that guys. Um, yeah. Thanks for looking at my little chaotic haul. Uh, yeah. A bit of a mess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, comment. I like catching up with you guys. Uh, yeah. See you later.